Hello again, Mr. Don here. I'm going to show you some more electricity things. On this video, I'm going to show you what is the correct way of measuring voltage and current. Um, unfortunately, there's two different things we got to do there. Um, and on the simulator, the, to help you be aware of that, we have two different types of meters, and they only work if you do it the right way. Uh, if you were to buy a meter at the store, it's probably called what's called a multimeter just has a little turn knob on it and that allows you to measure voltage on one setting, amperages on another setting, also even resistances and other things. Um, and it's the same meter. So you would, it probably looks something like what this voltmeter is here where you have two wires and you have to put it somewhere in the circuit. Well, you need to know how to do it. So let's look at that. Let's look at both of these. Uh, so first off, when you are looking at a circuit, and you're trying to figure out voltages. What that means is you are trying to measure how much energy is in the electrons or the electricity. So if you have this, I'm actually gonna switch this around. Um, you have a circuit here where we have a light bulb and we have our batteries. I'm gonna show the current here. So there's the electricity flowing. And in order for you to measure voltage, you actually have to pick what you're trying to measure the voltage of. In other words, you want to measure the voltage of, say, the light bulb. Okay. I have to make sure I know what that voltage of the light bulb is. If it's getting too much voltage, it can actually start on fire or burst or explode, stuff like that. And so how do we do that? So to do that, we use this one. It's called a voltmeter. Okay. And it has two wires, red for positive, black for negative. And <clears throat> as I said in a different, in another video, we always put the red on the side of your object that is facing towards the positives of the battery. In other words, positives, or the current, I guess, is flowing clockwise here, so the positive would be counterclockwise. So we want to put our red wire right where the electricity enters into the object and then the black is your negative and that goes on the area where the electricity leaves the object and when we do that for this circuit we see that this light bulb has 27 volts why 27 because you have three batteries each battery has nine volts and they're all going in the same direction they're all pushing clockwise, so they all get added, okay? Now, if I were to measure the voltage of this battery here, I'd have to do this a little different. Where's the positive side of the battery? It's this spot, right? So that's where the red would go. And where's the negative? Where the black wire would go? That's right there. That's actually why they put a black on a lot of batteries, so that remember to do that. When I do that, I see it's 9 volts. Now remember I showed on a video before, if you accidentally screw that up, what's going to happen? It's just going to give you a negative number. Okay. Well, that's just kind of a way to say, hey, just switch them around. You'll get the right answer. Okay. So that is that. Now, why is this battery 9 volts? Well, because it is providing 9 volts of electricity to the circuit. Right? When we were measuring this for the light bulb, we were really measuring how much of the voltage is the light bulb using. You see the difference there? Batteries give voltage or electricity. The light bulbs take electricity or use electricity. So we're measuring two different things. It's what's called a voltage drop. Technical term, I guess. Okay, now, notice when I'm measuring voltage, I didn't have to do anything to the circuit. I just let the circuit run, and I put my probes anywhere on here that I want and they measure actually how much voltage is changing between my red wire and my black wire. So the, the sensor basically is measuring how much the force changes between the two spots. If we were doing amperage, we do this differently. So current is another way of saying amperage or amps. If you want to measure amps, on the simulator, you have a different probe called an ammeter, right? And the ammeter is unique in that 
the electricity now actually has to flow through the ammeter. Notice with the voltmeter, the electricity, notice there's no arrows going into our voltmeter. None at all. That's because the electricity from the circuit is not going into our voltmeter. Okay? It's staying in the circuit. The voltmeter is simply measuring how much it's changing by from one part of the circuit to the next. In an amp meter, in order for it to work correctly, you actually have to break the circuit and you have to put your amp meter into the circuit. Okay. Notice the electricity is flowing into and through the amp meter. Okay. If this wasn't flowing through the amp meter, it would give us a zero. Okay. They're showing how much electricity is actually flowing through the wires. That's kind of what. Um, amperage or current is, how much electricity, like how much water is coming out of a hose, and voltage is measuring how quickly the electricity or how much energy the electricity each electron or each arrow has. We kind of like saying how fast is the water running out of the hose. Slightly different things. Uh, sometimes that gets confusing. Anyway, so key ideas. With a voltmeter, if you're measuring voltage, the voltmeter does not become part of the circuit. The electricity does not move through the voltmeter. For the amp meter, it has to become part of the circuit. Okay? And technically, this is measuring the amperage coming out of the battery. If I wanted to measure the amperage going into the light bulb, I'd have to put a second amp meter right there. And these are the same number for this situation. We'll talk about why that is at a later time. Anyway, if you have any questions, again, please let me know. If this video worked to help you understand how to measure volts and how to measure amps, please give them a thumbs up. That's how I'm judging whether or not they're good or not. Uh, if you didn't like it, if it doesn't help you, uh, give me a thumbs down. And if it would be really helpful, give me a comment in the comment section. Um, but please make them constructive. Make them something that I can use to get.